Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Daniel Senior Orifice Metering in the Advanced Oil and Gas Industry webinar. I see we have many people from different parts in the world, so thank you for either getting up early or staying up late to attend this webinar. My name is Hannah DeYoung, and I am the Marketing and Communications Manager at Daniel. Before we begin, a few housekeeping items. This webinar is being recorded and it will be made available on our YouTube channel within three business days. If you have any questions at all during the webinar, please use the Q&A chat box to type in your questions. We will have a short Q&A at the end of this presentation. Your mic will be muted by default during the presentation but if you would like to ask a question during the Q&A, please use the raise hand icon and I will unmute you so you can ask a question verbally if you prefer. Also, please stick around at the end. We do have a short survey and this will allow us to uh, present better webinars in the future. We will also have five mystery prizes that will be awarded to five lucky individuals and a copy of the presentation will automatically be sent to uh, once you submit the survey. And now without further ado, I'd like to welcome our two keynote speakers. The first keynote speaker is Steve Ift, Director of Products and Engineering. Steve comes with over 30 years experience in flow measurement, engineering, and marketing. His previous roles include principal engineer, engineering manager, and marketing director. He has been with Daniel now for over seven years. Our other keynote speaker is Edgar Hidalgo, who is our quality manager. He leads the quality assurance team at Daniel's manufacturing facility in Chihuahua, Mexico. He started out at Emerson Promises Management as a welding engineer and quickly rose through the ranks. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome and hello from Houston, Texas. I thank you for attending our webinar. I, um, I want to thank Hannah for uh, promoting and producing this webinar. I'm, I'm I'm somewhat surprised and not surprised that there's so many people that are interested in a technology that's been around for so long. It speaks to the long lasting legacy and popularity of a product that does its job very well and what, and what we produce here. As a history of Daniel, we've started a long time ago. In 1932, Paul Daniel couldn't find a manufacturer for an idea that he had for the oil and gas, natural gas pipeline measurement. So he started on his own. He built his own factory and started building the senior fitting. In 1935, he got his first patent on that. If you look at that patent, which is still available, you can see it very much resembles the product we make today. But that product has been evolved and refined over the years. And so now, 90 years later, after many changes that you can see on the screen, Daniel is back. Daniel, in, nine, in last year, around on September 1st, became an independent company again. So we are on our own, leading a brand that has been trusted in measurement for many years and making decisions that are best for our customers. We also have a new leadership and ownership of the company, and I'd like to introduce Keith Barnard, which is our new CEO. Keith is a longtime oil and gas executive and also a user and customer of Daniel for many years and very familiar with our products before ever coming. When he heard about the chance to lead a company like Daniel, grow and improve it from what it's been to where it should be, he was all in. He brings a passion and a commitment that is driving all of us to make a better company and to better serve our customers. We are an independent co company now and making those decisions for our customers and for ourselves. If you go to the next slide. We're also working and deciding what kind of company we wanna be, defining our future, defining what our values are. So we've worked on a, a vision for our company to be the leading brand for delivering the highest quality solutions for our customers in flow applications worldwide. We've worked on a mission, which is a three year goal for us. Where do we wanna be as a company in three years? And written down and communicated throughout our organization are core values. 
And those core values drive every decision we make in our company. We do want to be the best in reliability and customer service. We see a lot of good trends in the oil and gas business now. Trends that excite us and have us expecting good things in the future. From articles and customer interviews and talks in the field, we see a 15 to 20% growth in the next two years. We are very excited about this and it's supported by many things like the indicators that you see on the screen. We follow two market indicators very closely here at Daniel. One is the rig count supplied by Baker Hughes each week. And you can see the, the orange yellow line there that has been slowly increasing over the last year. Very good steady increase for a long time. It has flattened out a little bit in the last few weeks, but we don't expect that to last much longer. It will continue to rise again. The WTI oil price, price per barrel, has also been rising on a, the same kind of increasing trend. A lot more volatility in that. A month ago, a few months ago, we hit that 120 per barrel price. Very exciting. Now it's fallen back to that 90. Still a very sustainable and points to much more growth in the future. We're also seeing a lot of regulations, a lot more discussions about environmental issues. And when you look at our fitting and you look at the industry we're in, we're talking a lot about fugitive emissions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle back to that and a few slides and what we've done to address that. Daniel has been around a long time, like I said, since 1932. And you can see from these slides, Paul Daniel is in the first slide on the left, selling, uh, I guess, senior fittings out of his trunk of his car. And you can see the fitting is very recognizable in that. In the 1950s, we were selling like that. We were selling at trade shows where apparently men did not go outside without wearing a full suit. Thankfully, that's changed now. And the slide on the right, the picture on the right, is our Houston facility in the 1960s, loading right there a meter tube with some uh, control housings on that truck. We have a long history of designing the senior fitting, and these are our humble beginnings. What we're talking about today is the senior fitting, and this is at the heart and the origin of Daniel. Paul Daniel designed this, and really it changed the industry that he was in, the natural gas measurement industry. If you look at the exploded view of the senior here, you see a lot of parts. Each one of those parts has a purpose. Each one of those parts is designed, manufactured, installed, and tested to provide safe and reliable operation of the fitting. So what does the fitting do? The fitting allows a user to measure with an orifice plate very accurately, and then be able to remove that orifice plate under pressure without stopping flow, without depressurizing the line, and then reinstall that plate without ever stopping flow. It was groundbreaking and world changing back then and allowed the natural gas industry to grow very fast and provide sellers and buyers with accurate measurement. The core of Daniel, the core of the, the senior fitting is custody transfer, paying and buying for natural gas using a measurement like this. So if you go to the next slide and I'll look a little bit closer at the model next to me, many components, this one's obviously all put together. The main components are a top, and a body, we call it the upper and lower chambers. The lower chamber is your measurement area. And if you, if you can see inside, we have an orifice plate installed, ready for measurement. That orifice plate is installed and held in precise location because of eccentricity, location of the taps, many things are called out in the standard to make it very precise. The other thing that it does is this upper chamber allows you to move it, remove or uh, raise the orifice into the top chamber, isolate that chamber, and then remove it. So what I'll do is I'll just very briefly show what that looks like. This, if you can see, as that orifice plate moves into that top chamber, you're raising that up. There's many steps to it that are well known in the, in the field. I'll stop here so I don't have to go through everyone. But one of the main components is our slide valve, and you can see that called out in the slide there. The slide valve will close after bringing the plate into the top chamber and allow for depressurization of the top chamber, all while the lower chamber is still pressurized and flowing. Once this is safely depressurized and vented, you can remove your sealing bar and clamping bar, take the plate out for inspection. 
And this is a common practice in the field that needs to be done on a regular basis. You can do that for several reasons. For accuracy, you want to make sure you're getting the highest accuracy by maintaining the clean, flat, and sharp orifice plate installed in the line. Or you can change your plate to a different bore size. And that's one of the great advantages of orifice measurement is that you can remove that plate, change the measurement style, the measurement size, and put it back in the plate. So this two inch fitting can be a high volume flow meter or a low volume flow meter. So if you have seasonal changes in your gas flow, or if you have an aging well that is slowly degrading, you can adjust your measurement and this fitting to make the meter that you want. And where are these used? Mostly in natural gas. They can be used in other applications, but our applications are focused on natural gas pipeline measurement. Our most common one is near the wellhead, so we call that wellhead allocation. So either measuring at the wellhead or near the wellhead, natural gas that's produced out of wells, and a lot of that is in North America, Mexico, Canada, and the United States. The problem by being near a well, wellhead is that it tends to be dirty gas. You have a lot of particulates, you can have water carryover, hydrates, sand, things that make it very difficult on most measurements. It does make it difficult on an orifice plate too, but people still use this in those applications by a wide margin. And the reason is that you can take out that plate if you have a damaged plate that's worn over time, simply replace it with a new plate. It's simple to do, it can handle the tough applications. One thing Daniel is known for is a wide range of products that can support other applications as well. So continuing in natural gas, you can go to compressor stations, inlet or outlets. Those are larger sizes in series in the picture on the top right. Right below that is a transmission measurement. Now orifice plates 30, 40 years ago were the primary measurement in transmission. We've moved away from that and moved more to the upstream side. Speaking of upstream, also on the high pressure side. So we, are, we can measure gas and liquid injections at the well or offshore, which typically requires high pressure fittings. And those are including FPSO vessels. We are ready. I've talked about the industry trends and we're expecting more business and we're expecting more activity in the field. And Daniel has been and is getting ready for that business to come in. We recognize that with that 90 year history, we have a large installed base. We are ready to support those users that come to us with parts replacement or fitting replacements. We have made a major investment in all our inventory, including longer lead time castings. So we are ready for the market increase that we're expecting and seeing already. I'm sitting in Houston. We have a Houston warehouse right behind me that holds parts in all our, in our, all our high volume parts so we can deliver to any North American customer in a day or two. And as always, we recommend using 100% authentic Daniel parts. That would guarantee the safety of the user and the reliability of the product. Daniel, why do you come to Daniel? I've said it, we have that experience. I talk a lot about the 90 years of experience and do you get the feeling that we're proud of it? We are proud of it. We're very proud of our brand and our history behind it. We have the experience of knowing this product inside and out, having the details of changes over the year and continue to make changes to meet and lead the industry on how to make orifice measurements, following the codes for pressure class and pipeline and those kind of safety requirements. We don't cut corners. We give you the best measurement we can, which leads me to my next precision. We are based and live on custody transfer. Everything we do from design to delivery is to give you the best and most accurate measurement you can get. So we don't take cut corners. We read and understand and wrote most of the standards. So we know that standards require different levels of tolerance. We don't just take the middle ground. We don't just take the easy tolerance. We take the tightest tolerance, no matter the application. So we know, we don't know where every fitting goes, but we know when you put a plate in, you'll get the tightest measurement and the highest accuracy that is available in an orifice plate. We are committed to supporting you. We have a staff here in Houston. We have a dedicated staff in Chihuahua that will answer and support you to the best of our ability. We are doubling and tripling our efforts to support you and give you the support you need to make a good measurement.
And lastly, engineering. As I mentioned, the engineering has evolved, but we also have a current staff of engineers to help you and answer your questions. We do thousands of plate calculations to help you size and calculate your orifice the best that it can be. We have a whole group of engineers to design and meet your specialized needs, whether it's special materials, whether it's large line sizes or higher pressures. So Hannah had teased that we have, we're announcing a product enhancement and we are, we have a product enhancement to the senior fitting. Now, I just wanna mention that I've been with Daniel for seven years, been in the industry a long time. It has been a long time since Daniel had made, made a product enhancement to the senior. Now you're asking, why do it now? Because we are listening to our customers and we're gonna show you that we're responsive and can make those adjustments faster than any predecessor owners of our company. So if you look, we're, I'm announcing a seal ceiling bar design change. The ceiling bar is this top section right here, if you can see it on the screen. And also if you look at the slide, the yellow bar is the ceiling bar, which holds the pressure. And that's our final pressure containment and really one of the most cru crucial parts of the fitting. We are changing from the left to the right picture, which is a ceiling bar with an O-ring groove and an O-ring seal in it. So the, the left, our original, and right now our current, uses a clinger seal flat gasket, and that's been used for decades successfully. It's cheap, it's easy to replace in the field, but has the disadvantage of requiring a lot of torque and sometimes having trouble sealing in the field. So our customers told us we are asking, we are asking for less fugitive emissions. So an O-ring is a very easy way to do that. It requires less torque to make a seal. And also the O-ring is reusable instead of the clinger seal, which really should be replaced after every one of them. We are expected to release this next quarter in just a few weeks. And we will support and continue to support our legacy products. So if you need old style ceiling bars and old style gaskets, we will certainly provide them. And also look forward to improving our products and supplying you with the seal rings. This will be the first of several en enhancements that we're hoping to do in the next year. All right, I will hand it over to Edgar Hidalgo, which was, who was introduced earlier, who's sitting in our Chihuahua facility. Okay, well, thank you very much, Steve, for the introduction. Uh, first of all, I really wanna thank you all of you for joining us today. So I'm really excited, but also honored to start talking about uh, our world best in class manufacturing facility here in Chihuahua uh, that was founded in early 2000. So that's uh, more than 20 years of manufacturing Daniel products in this building. Uh, we are over 180 employees. I will say high, highly skilled employees as well. Um, some of our manufacturing capabilities includes machining, uh, welding processes as well, assembly, but also calibration for some of our Daniel products here as well. Uh, going a little bit uh, deeper on a senior artifice manufacturing process, well, basically, which is starting with a uh, machining of the main components of the parts, then goes to the assembly process, assembly of the, of the top and body separately. Uh, we do some welding. Also, we have uh, the full assembly or the final assembly, what we call uh, hydro, uh, hydrostatic testing, which is uh, really important for us as well. Painting process, final inspection, which is uh, QC inspection. Every single part uh, prior to leave the facility passed through a final inspection process and then ship. Okay, so I was mentioning uh, machining processes and I really want to go a little bit deeper on, on it since uh, basically most of our manufacturing processes, I will say almost 80% of our processes or manufacturing processes are machining processes. So that's the reason why we really wanted to emphasize on the CNC machining, which is also something really important for us. Uh, we do have uh, hydraulic devices that are also helping us to ensure the higher precision machining but also improving and getting higher products quality, uh, improving our throughput times, but also reduce cycle times, which I know it's also something really important for all, for all of you. 
Okay, so in order, in order to also to give you like a better overview of our, all of our manufacturing processes, so I'm going to be sharing uh, this uh, video of some of our manufacturing processes. So that'll give you a better overview in general. Okay, so moving forward, um, there are, we have like a, we call in-process inspection or inspection during the manufacturing process, which is also really important for us. So that way we're gonna be ensuring that those uh, particular key characteristics that are important to, that are really important to the, for the performance of our products are met, uh, such as the seat gap for the senior fittings also, diameter or location of the meter holes, which is also really important for us. Eccentricity testing, which we do 100%, I mean 100% of our parts uh, goes through uh, eccentricity testing prior to, prior to leave the facility as well too. And also some other testing in order to ensure the, uh, the, the functionality of the part itself is not gonna be compromised, such as the hydrostatic test that we're gonna be going a little bit deeper on it. But also would like to mention that something really important for us is that, and wanted to share with you, is that every single part that leaves the, the facility goes with a, a full set of uh, QC documentation in the one that we also include an inspection report as a proof of all of those testing was, were performed and also were met with the highest measurement standards. Okay, going a little bit deeper on uh, hydrostatic testing, which is one of the most important testing that we perform to our products. Uh, I really wanna mention some of our, the operation features that we already have in our hydrostatic stance, such as an intuitive software, which is helping us a lot on uh, automatic acceptance criteria results. Also, we do have the capability to keep and store records for each one of the testing that was performed. That'll give us the traceability uh, of the parts itself as well. But also we really wanted to go uh, one step ahead. And also we implemented a high definition camera system that is already helping us a lot on the detectability and also inspection during the hydrostatic test as well. Again, 100% of our parts pass through the hydrostatic test. And also we, as part of the QC inspection uh, report, we included uh, as a proof of that the units pass through that hydrostatic testing as well. Well, some of our metrology capabilities and entity capabilities, uh, start talking about CMM capabilities. So we have an statistical module to analyze the variation of our processes. Also, we use the CAT modeling programming. So that way we really try to replicate the same way that we are already doing the CNC machining, also doing the, uh, the CMM measurements as well. And we have uh, measurement capabilities up to 65 inches long and tall. 
and 1.5 tons of weight. So that will give you an idea of uh, how big parts we, we can also manufacture here, machine and also measure as well. On entity capabilities, uh, uh, wanna mention that all of our entity technicians are already qualified and, and within compliance with ASNT TC1A on dye penetrant testing, PMI or positive material identification and magnetic particle testing as well, which is part of uh, our offer to our customers if there's any needs of NDT. But in addition, also we have X-ray uh, as an offer. We don't have the capability in-house, but we use a third party, which is located here in Chihuahua as well, in order to uh, full cover the, those entity capabilities that could come up from our customers' requirements. Well, last but not least, I want to also mention some of our company as a Daniel uh, quality certifications that we already own, such as ISO 9001 uh, 2015, that we are certified Houston and Chihuahua location, PED or Pressurized Equipment Directive, which we already certified as well, and also some uh, additional explosion proofs approvals, such as ATEX or C CSA, that we are also covering by UL as well. Okay. Well, sean todos bienvenidos aquí a la ciudad de Chihuahua. Uh, you are more than welcome to visit our best-in-class facility. Uh, that we are really proud of it. Uh, we are really proud of all of uh, all of the ma manufacturing capabilities that we have installed in this in this building. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you are going to be having a pleasant experience when you're going to be visiting the city. Uh, we have really good food, but also we have a really good facility that uh, anytime feel free to reach me directly and we can also arrange uh, something in order to take you to a uh, manufacturing tour. So just uh, let me know, you can reach me anytime. So again, thank you very much for for joining us today and I will pass to Steve. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you so much, Edgar. Um, I do wanna mention and remind uh, all the listeners that if you have a question about the products or Daniel in particular, please type it into the chat and we'll make sure to answer that at the end of the webinar. I did want to talk about, we have been talking about the senior fitting, which is our major product at Daniel, but Daniel does and continues to sell two other product lines. Uh, one is the liquid turbine meter, which is a line of turbine meters, two different uh, series to measure liquid hydrocarbons in a pipeline or sometimes a terminal situation. Very high precision and very high re repeatability of the trademarks of the Daniel turbine meter. I should mention that that is our next planned webinar, so look for announcements, and that will be led by our product manager on turbine meters, Angela Floyd. Also, we have a line of highly regarded liquid control valves. The liquid control valves are a balanced piston design with a linear actuation that are pilot controlled in a variety of applications such as back pressure control, surge relief, or digital control on a terminal. So look for those other products and look for more webinars on those products. We are here to support you. We are here to deliver to you. We have fast response time products such as our speed lane senior fittings from the two to 12 inch line sizes, where our goal is to always deliver those in one to two weeks. We have very short lead times on spare products as we deliver out of our warehouse in Houston. And we have a team of engineers that can help you with custom orders, whether different materials or different sizes and different pressures. You can contact us at our technical support line. We have a team here in Houston, as well as in Chihuahua at the factory to look into your questions. We have a large installed base. We continue and want to support that legacy product that's installed in the field. And we have retro kits ready to go for full refurbishment of the senior fitting, and we are rolling out soon a series of repair spare parts kits that people can keep on the shelf for handy replacements. We want to talk to you, 
but we'll also suggest that you contact your local representatives. We rely and love our local representatives in the U.S. They are the expertise in your field, in your area, and we highly recommend you tap into that expertise and knowledge. If you have any questions for general North America sales, you can contact Mike Knott, which is our North America sales director. We're, we, for the DP and gas products, we do go direct low, directly in Texas and parts of New Mexico. So you can contact Thomas Morley, shown on the screen here. But you can see from the map, we have a wide coverage of all the United States. And on the next slide, the Canada market. Probably hard to read on the screen, but if you go to our website, daniel.com, there is a function called find a rep and you type in your location and it will tell you the rep for the products that you're looking for. So again, I encourage you to contact them with any questions about Daniel products. Internationally, we do have international sales directors that would happy to point you either to a local representative that we are setting up a new network or they can help you directly. So Ruben is our Latin America sales directory. Mark Dutton is our Europe, Middle East, and Africa sales director, and Edwin is our Asia Pacific, and they'd be glad to support you in any way you need internationally. We, we do wanna meet you, we do wanna see you, and we will be at the following events in the next couple months. Next week is the Rocky Mountain Measurement Society, a one-day show up in Loveland, Colorado. I will be there, be glad to meet you and show you the product in person. The week after that is the North Texas Measurement Association's Day of Training, a one-day course for technicians in the field with training sessions by our product managers, Mark Pinheiro and Thomas Morley will be there. And one of our biggest shows of the year, we call it ASGMT, which is the American School of Gas Measurement Technology here in Houston in the latter part of September. We hope to see you there. All right, I think it's time for some Q&A and I do see some questions here. And again, feel free to uh, type in more questions into the Q&A and we'll try to answer as many as we can. So the first one that I saw is, does Daniel have meter run as well? So that, that is a good question. Showing some knowledge of the market that I didn't talk about, but this is a standalone product, but is usually integrated into meter runs, bolted onto the backside of the fitting and welded onto the front. We don't supply them directly uh, from our factory here. We partner with fabricators in different parts of the, of the country and up in Canada to provide local service there. Um, another question is, I uh, hope we can get the recorded video. Yes, this a webinar is being recorded and we will have it on Daniel's YouTube channel uh, within three business days. Another question is, can the new ceiling bar with the O-ring seal work on the legacy products or only for the new line moving forward? So it does require a machining change to the top. Fortunately, it doesn't change the casting itself, but the ceiling bar here, if you can see where I'm pointing, will be slightly, slightly wider, not taller, but wider, and will require machining down of this part here. So if you have a legacy product, you'll either need to use the legacy ceiling bar or you can replace the top. And we do sell a replacement top full with components on the inside that would include the O-ring seal. Great. And Edgar, I have a question for you. How can the orifice plate eccentricity be validated um, in, in, in situations or in the field? Okay, well, typically uh, as we are performing 100% of eccentricity testing. So that's also something that in the field, we could also do eccentricity testing as well. Well, it depends on the, of the installation, but yeah, definitely that's also something that we can also take a look into it and ensure that we are gonna be able to do it as well. Edgar, do you have some advice of what equipment would be needed for an eccentricity test? Or could you repeat that again, Steve? I can hear you very well. Sorry. what? Uh... What equipment is required for doing an eccentricity test? Oh, Edgar may have lost his video, his audio. All right, Edgar, we'll, we'll get back to you. Um, I do have another question for you, Steve. How can the, uh, sorry, what are your thoughts? Wait, sorry, I just missed it. There, 
There's, no there's a few questions coming up. Yeah, no um, how will the new ceiling bar design reduce fugitive emissions? Does it leak less? It should leak less. The old gasket, flat gasket design is intended to seal leak proof, but typically requires a very um, consistent surface. So if there's any damage or rust of the surface, it doesn't seal as well. And also requires higher torque. Having uh, torquing these heads sometimes is a, is a problem in the field. Maybe you don't get enough. The O-ring provides a very good seal, typically leak proof with less torque. And so you're compressing a well-known NBR or Viton O-ring. And I shouldn't, and I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's a standard O-ring design. So we're buying it from a vendor and you can as well. So it will be, will be available in the field if you need replacements. And as I mentioned before, it is reusable, which is a definite advantage for the O-ring. Fantastic. And Edgar, um... Let me know if your if your audio is back on. So I think a, a little bit more detail to the question about the orifice plate centricity, if it can be validated uh, in the field, is what should be the acceptable limit for orifice diameter measurements while in the field? Well, basically regarding the acceptance uh, criteria, we're just based on the AGA 3.0. API 14.3, which are basically the acceptance criteria set by, a, it depends of every single uh, bore ID. So we could also go ahead and go and take a look into the standard and based on that, it's what we are also meeting the standards. And I might add a little bit of color to that is that if I think if you're talking about the bore of the orifice plate, actual bore, uh, we design that and specify it to the one ten thousandths of a place, so four decimal places. And actually, measuring that in the, in the field is difficult uh, to get the precision that you need. It's very important to uh, confirm that the bore is what you think it is. So, if it's stamped one and a half, make sure the orifice plate that you're actually installing is around one and a half. Uh, but actually, getting to a one ten thousandths measurement is difficult in a field situation. Fantastic. And Steve, another question for you. What are your thoughts on some of the DP diagnostic software that is in the market now? So software that monitors the three DP transmitters and can tell you the health of the orifice plate without the plate needing to be removed for inspection. I have known this technology for a long time and know the gentlemen who produce it and sell it. And I really do like it. It's a wonderful combination of taking multiple measurements and getting more information out of a system, a system that is mechanical like an orifice plate and an orifice fitting. By adding a few more transmitters, you can see more. You can see changes. You can see wet gas loading. Um, it is an issue of implementation. So, you know, there is software that's needed. It is multiple transmitters. But when you're talking about natural gas on a large pipeline, you're talking of millions of dollars a day going through a pipeline. You should know if things are changing in your field. I think one of the advantages of DP Diagnostics is having that eyes without having to remove a plate. Now we make a senior fitting to remove a plate, but there are cases like um, when you're in sour gas, when the gas can be dangerous to be exposed to it and you need to vent it and be careful with it. Maybe that isn't the best time to change and expect a plate every month. By having DPA diagnostics, you can avoid that, inspect your plate virtually, and maybe reduce your maintenance cycles and inspection cycles. So I'm in favor of it. It's, it's not widely accepted yet, but I think there's a lot of potential for it. Wonderful. And so we just have a few more minutes. We'll try to answer, again, as many questions um, as we can. If you do have any more questions, feel free to type them into the Q&A now. Um, so in addition to the question, uh, if Daniel has a meter runs, do Daniel also have batch controller as well? So we, um, if you remember the, the Daniel legacy, there were Daniel products that we are not selling currently. And one of them is a batch control product called the Dan load. And we do not have that yet. We are looking to bolt on and expand the Daniel brand with new products. And that might be one of them, a flow computer, a batch controller, or um, digital controller or something like that. We are looking for that, but we don't have it currently. And uh, 
we look for our partners and others to provide that at the, at the current moment. And I think this will be our last question for this webinar, unless um, unless you type some more in. So another question is: Can the Rosemount nineteen fifteen sorry the Rosemount fifteen ninety five conditioning orifice plate model can it be installed on the senior orifice fitting? Yes, it can. Uh, I actually my history is I used to work at Rosemont and used to work with the conditioning orifice plate. Um, and back when I was at Rosemont, I worked with Daniel to figure out a method to install it. It's not much of a method, but they make a universal style of that plate that can be installed with our seal ring and with our plate carrier, the mechanism that moves that plate up and down. There are a couple of things we need to be aware of, um, but it is usable. And the only I would say, I'll tell you what you need to be aware of, is that the orientation of that four hole plate is critical to the measurement. When you have a single hole in the middle, there's no rotation, there's no indexing. But with four holes, you have to index it. So the tap is between two holes, not over a hole. So that's the one thing you need to be aware of and design for in using a conditioning orifice plate in the fitting. Wonderful. And just a quick reminder, so a copy of this presentation is available. We just kindly ask you to fill out our survey and the uh, presentation will be automatically emailed to you. And again, we are drawing five lucky winners. So please go ahead and fill out the survey and, uh, and we'll send you a mystery prize. And I think we do have one more question, Steve, before we close out. Uh, do you have for sale flow conditioning plate and straightening vape bundles? Okay, um, we don't. Uh, we rely on our partners to provide those, um, both a conditioning plate, typically a CPA, which uh, the Canadian pipeline accessories. Uh, two bundles we provide through a vendor. We don't make those anymore. Okay, excellent. And you know, I am going to allow this one question because I do think it is an excellent question to ask. Uh, what is the recommended orifice plate seal for natural gas measurement application? So I, I think you're talking about the seal that's around the orifice plate. We call it the seal ring. And that can be used in several sealing rubbers or plast uh, sorry elastomers. Um, a lot of people use nitrile, which is softer. Um, it does have a tendency for what we call explosive decompression. So you a lot of people move to a hard, harder HNBR, which has a, a little bit stiffer response, but the same kind of chemical reaction. If you have larger sizes, if you have chemical compatibility problems, there is a option for Teflon or an option which are with our snap seal ring, which uses O-rings. And then those O-rings can be made out of virtually any material that's available on the market. Wonderful. And I will let this question, um, uh, I, I will ask, ask this question, although I think this one will be covered in our liquid turbine webinar that will be coming up in a few weeks. So statistically, what is the run life of your Daniel valves? To increase run life of the valves, what do you suggest after gas, including methane and H2s flow tests? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to assume that you mean fitting instead of valve because you're talking about a gas application. So we're talking about the senior fitting here. Um, we will have some, some webinars on our liquid products later, but the fitting um, has a very long life uh, depending on usage and environment, it's hard to say exactly, but I will tell you that we consistently get requests for product parts on fittings that are 50 and 60 years old. So those continue to be used in the field and used successfully. So it is a product that needs to be inspected, needs to be maintained over time, but can be refurbished and be remade new with new parts on the inside. All right, that was great. Anything else, uh, Edgar, Steve, you want to say before we finish? Really encourage you to uh, fill out our survey, give us feedback. We want to do more and we want to improve our webinars. So we need you to help us do that. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, all of your feedback is really appreciated for us. So that'll give us a, a better brand out there in the field. Great. Thank you again, everyone. And again, I've listed the survey in the chat box. If you wouldn't mind taking just a couple of minutes, it's only six questions to complete the survey. If you have any questions at all, please email marketing at daniel.com if you have any issues. And again, this recording will be made available within three business days. Thank you again and have a wonderful morning or evening. Thank you.
Thank you very much. We appreciate it.